Hey everyone, welcome to Entertainment Corner. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Camp Laszlo Season 1. So this was a find I got um, from uh, eBay in Australia, thanks to Cameron. He actually ordered it for me and shipped it over to me. It was free shipping for him, and then he just shipped it um, to me. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, it's a really nice set. I was very happy to get, uh, get a hold of this. Um, I've actually watched most of the episodes. I hadn't really seen Camp Lazlo before. I mean, I'd seen like a few episodes, but I just went ahead and pretty much watched all these. I, there's a few I didn't finish, but um, it's actually a pretty fun show. I will say it does parallel Spongebob a lot, and so I can see the criticism, especially with the sound effects and kind of like, especially the mu you know, music and sound effects are really the two that I can see the inspiration. The rest of the stuff is pretty, I mean, you got some of the same voices and stuff, and I mean, a lot of the cartoons do the same stuff, so it's just... I can see how it's a little, a little too parallel, I guess, to SpongeBob. But honestly, I don't mind. It's it's a great. I mean, here's the thing. It's Joe Murray. He created Rocco's Modern Life, which is where Stephen Hillenburg came from, like in terms of animation. Like, so you know, of course, there's going to be, if anything, Steve's show is a little bit of a copy of Rocco's Modern Life. I mean, it was unique, but it definitely took from Rocco. So, anyways, um, it's a it's a fun set got two discs with really nice artwork. I mean, come on, that's beautiful. Um, there we go. And then we have this insert, which got Ben 10, Billy Mandy, Mind Your Partner's a Monkey, Couldn't Even Killing Store, Dexter's Lab. Don't think there's anything on Oh, there is. So, it's a really nice set. I mean, I got this for like 16 bucks. I mean, how could you pass up? Um, so, yeah, I mean, thanks to Cameron. Um, I really appreciate it, man. Like, he, he's basically my import if they don't have it on. Because if they won't ship to the United States, it's like, well, what can I do? So, um, really cool. And, I mean, that's about it. There's not much else to go through, so. It's just cool. Um, I'm trying to bring it closer, but the lighting is. Yeah, I don't know. That's about the best I can do, so. 